Okay, do you want to do Vela or Shay first? Oh, which one we have to... Let's do Vela first. Hey, I think that ship... I think it belongs to my friend Alex. I can't believe he got that thing running. Well, go around it then. We're under fire. Don't worry, Mom. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> I'll go take care of it. <laughs> Useless. I know. <laughs> Useless woman. We need to go uh, get this thing. This scrap wire might come in handy if I wanted to repair something. Marikai, where are you? What caused that explosion? Uh, sorry. Wrong number. How do I turn this off? You? What's happened to Marikai? Uh, oh, he... So now we get to have all the answers for anybody who still has questions. Perfect. <laughs> he hasn't landed yet? You! Violent abomination! I'm starting to see why Marikai was so taken with you. Ew! I'm a... Ew! Don't look at me like that! So gross. So you know how like in movies where the bad guy's like, Oh, you're so strong. I like that in a woman. And the woman's like, I like it no, when they you're fight gross. back. And you're like, fuck off. Ew. Yeah. And then, you know, you kind of think about it like, I would want to be with the bad guy who's like, I like an empowered woman. You're like, no, I would be saved by this guy. Yeah. And you're like, wait a second. No, I'm going to be bad. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. He's like, yeah, you're gonna be the general of one of my armies. And girls are like, no! And I'd be like, yeah! And you're like, yeah, but their outfits are so awesome! What? Their clothes are so cool. Their Annie's richer. Villains get all <laughs> the good outfits. And the cool stuff. Now I'm gonna be saved by this guy! He's kind of boring. Yeah. Except for this guy. He's gross. Yeah, yuck. Um, And they're called the Thrush. Ever since you told me about the mouth thing, <laughs> I've just every time they come up, I'm like, Ugh. Ugh. I can taste grossness in my mouth. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Why do you pretend these ships are in space? Several of our first parent teams, upon witnessing the Badlands, succumbed to their pull and settled there forever. Obviously, the frightening visuals drove them mad. So now, we protect them. Yes, you protect them from what seems to be a really great by, life. Yeah, by telling them incredible lies. In fantastical, insane lies. Yes, and going to extreme lengths to, like, make a fa magical fairy tale land. Stop shooting at us and let us go. You're a terrorist, and you will face justice. You're the one coming to our Plus, place. We still need you, Vela. No, you do not. What do you need me for? To true the formation of our bloodline. Ugh, gross. Uh, his turn is <laughs> truing the formation as creepy as it sounds. We nurtured and disciplined our bloodline for hundreds of years. Removing impurities. Moving our dicks. And built the plague down to keep them out forever. Yeah, but now you look gross. Unfortunately, it turns out that some of those impurities were necessary. So, as we have become refined, we've also become somewhat delicate. Perfect. We are a house made out of fine crystal. But we still need rocks and clay for the foundation. That's where you come in. Okay, but if, I'm just saying, if you're gonna fix your bloodline to do anything that you want, why do you look like that? <laughs> Maybe they, okay. they think it looks cool, you know? They're like, yeah, let's put shit on her head and stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, let's make ourselves look like really unattractive aliens. That's what we want. Hey, maybe to them they are attractive. Uh, yeah. So, you just need a blood sample from me or something? Oh, Vela, this isn't a simple matter of chromosomes. Uh, 
those we could synthesize. We need the whole picture. We need a brood mother. Your environment, your psyche, your very being. Our processing extracts it all. Okay. Uh, sounds like you want to put me in a blender. Sounds like you want to put me in a blender. The rendering process ends your short first life. What will ensue immortality <laughs> through the lives of future Maroonians? Gross. <laughs> so we want you to like birth. Yeah. Everything with. Well, shit. at least they're. I thought they were originally talking about just like marrying them off. Yeah. Like just essentially turning them into like mothers. Yeah, like carriers for their spawn or something. I guess the better so the better choice in that would be to just kill them right away. Sort of. You know what? If we're thinking about we're not talking about regular pregnancy, we're talking about being a brood mother, aka along the lines of Dragon Age of Dragon Age. And I would rather die than yeah, be exactly. turned into that. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right. If Thank you, you for the sweet release of death. If you are so weak and fragile, maybe we should just rise up and get rid of you. If you're so weak and fragile, maybe we should just rise up and get rid of you. Oh. <laughs> we took that fight right out of you long ago. Isn't that right, Selavina? Come on. Ah! Let's get this good time over with! Lavina. Ugh. They all got weird heads in the background, too. Mm -hmm. Why did you use the boy? Because even our wisest bloodline ministers cannot discern the precise combination of impurities that will make us whole. But at a certain age, a young man, when raised outside of Laruna, has instincts for these things. Adventure, heroism, conquest. His youthful lusts are sacred to us. I knew I was going to regret talking to you. What the fuck? Yeah. So, what will happen to Shay? He was going to return to Maruna and be celebrated as a hero for the rest of his life. But when you downed his ship, you sealed his fate. Now, he has seen too much. Your system is gross, one-sided, and it hurts people. And you don't even need it. Tear down this plague dam and build a bridge over this gorge. Let people interact in a natural way. I would think you charmingly naive if what you were saying wasn't so horrific and disgusting. Please, excuse me. I need to go end your entire way of doing things. You'll never... Oh! oh Commander oh. Shepard, his face! Yes! Huh. This door must have jammed shut in the collision. Mm. Get yeah. out of here. Let's, uh... Let's go fix everything. Since well, nobody uh, else seems to be able to do it. Mom! Talking about you, Mom. Oh no! Oh no, my, my girl! Oh no! Oh no! Little girl, what have I put you through? It looks like all your little wires got knocked out. Oh, I can fix this, hold up. Poor thing. Stick with me, I'll make it right. I gotta fix her real quick. I'll put some wire here. Oh, I'll yep. wire this end here. Oh, no, you are. Yeah. yeah, you're right. I always think red comes second, but it's always yellow. Let's see if this works. It doesn't okay. work this way for person. That's all my wire. You work? Yay! Oh, there's the old gal I know. There you go. Perfect. Come on. Safety bot. Safety first. Mogs. Just when you think you've taken care of them all, another one shows up. Guess I'd better eliminate these two before they breed. 
there's sometimes you know how things work and sometimes you don't and yeah. I just don't understand let's hope that big open window makes for better reception darn didn't hit anything what the how did that Bella her hot-headedness is gonna get us all killed it's already too hot to touch. I'm gonna have to kill the circuit in the power room. Stay here. There are some uh, legacy features of the ship down below that can be He really just has a stash of porn down there. He's I know. Like, I don't want you to see what I put down there. He's like, uh, it's How's this thing get set bad. again? Ah. Oh, come on. We were this close to a real meltdown. Quit being such a fraidy cat, Alex. Stop being afraid of a meltdown and explosions. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm just trying to kill us all. It's totally cool. Why are they shooting? You said this was your home. People, this is just some sort of misunderstanding. I've been gone 300 years. Give them a break, okay? As soon as I figure out the hailing frequency, I'll tell them who I am and we'll all be laughing about this. I sure. hope you're right, Alex. Yeah. I don't think so, dude. I don't think that's how it's gonna work. Oh, look at them dancing! Hey, I didn't know our little electrical genius could dance. Yeah, I just moved some wires around on her back and she started dancing. Huh. Um, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm not sure, but... Let's head on down there. Where is it? Where's the stash? Wow. Oh, hey, son. Dad, what are you doing here? Uh, just patching up a few more holes. Seems like every time I fix one... Oh, gotta go. Looks like part of the old ship controls. Oh, that's it's the one I was... Old logbook here. Okay, so that was the one I was looking for that I was inputting before, but... We have come to the conclusion that the ship itself is lying to us. Tomorrow we try to land on one of the hostile planets, which as far as we know, might not even be blah blah blah. Hostile. So, this is written by the other guy's parents. So it turns out that his parents were one of the people who went insane or whatever. Yeah. And, and just, landed and... Yeah. yeah. So now we have that. You gotta write this down this if you wanna keep it. So, now let's go over here. Oh. Dad? Did you see something? What? Another breach? No, not exactly. Oh, good. Because I have enough to worry about up here. Whoa! Whoa! Hello. <laughs> Are you guys from the old ship? Have you been down here 300 years? All alone? Whoa. So, would you mind if I just scooted by into that? Hey, 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 okay, all right. You don't want me in there, okay? That's cool. I got other stuff to do. I love that they made a little tribe. Left Wave by the barrel. <laughs> yeah, left by themselves for 300 years. Hey, you, come on. Let's go. Hey, little hexapal, come with me. There's somebody I want you to meet. Sorry. She only wants to dance now. Not interested. Fine. I will rewire you. Let me... Anybody there? Hey, little hexapal, come with me. There's somebody I want you to meet. Sorry. <sighs> It's a music morgue. Hey, looks like a radio. Hmm, like a broken radio. You found a thing! Hey, someone stole the drum mallet. I could have really made some noise with that thing. 
now we take the radio, show it to the Hexaball, and they realize their true nature. Hey, little Hexapal, you still have some electrical geniusness deep in there somewhere? Sorry, she's all about the rhythm now. Hey! Well, look at that. Fix, must this fix. tinkering must be wired in on a deeper level. And he's already done. Still, Wait a second. better come with me. Aww. You notice how the girls refer to the Hexapals as she's, and yes. he refers to them as boys? Whoa! I love it. I love how they have these small details that you just gotta listen to. Yeah. One, it's like to the girls. They're girls, and the, to the boys, they're boys. Yeah. The uh, the default nature. Yes. How did you get that old thing working? Never mind. Let me have it. I can use it to call Laruna and straighten out this mess once and for all. I'm starting to think that you might be stupid. <laughs> How'd you fix that? I don't know. How do I do this? I don't know. Can you do it? I guess. Well, well, he was a kid. We don't know how young he was when he went into the hypersleep. And he's well, been... Shay has been able to, like, because he, he waited until his parents died. It was 20 years before he went into the hypersleep. Oh. And he never aged in the hypersleep. He's the same age as he was when he went into the hypersleep. But wouldn't all of the technology be old? No, he knows the technology for his own ship, though. Yeah. So he knows how to fix that radio. He knows how to fix his own hexapals. He just never did. Yeah, you're right. He's an idiot. <laughs> um, I gotta fix this guy. Oops, shit. No, stop it. So I need a... Okay, that's the dancing one. I need to make him into a harp one. Not there. Which I think is this. Okay. Now, I'm... At least he's got more wires now. I didn't get to see him. We'll walk over here. If my wiring helps. Oops. Okay, that's not it. Let me look at my case. Let me look at my serial killer notes. <laughs> and we'll see okay, his so true purpose. I think the Okay. Yeah, it changes. There. They change it for each playthrough, so you have to figure out so you can't just look up the answer. Oh these fucks! Wow. <laughs> That is like <laughs> they changed it because I wrote down all the answers for when I went ahead, went ahead on my save through. Yeah. And now I'm looking and being like, wait a second, this isn't these motherfuckers. They changed the code. <laughs> wow. That is like, <laughs> but they're all sitting there being like, <laughs> ha ha ha, fucks. <laughs> so okay, they changed the locations of where. The little spaces go for each one. Yeah. So when they give you the code, it's the same, but the locations are different. Wow. So you have to map it out yourself. So FYI. FYI. So you have to map it out yourself, but it's easy to do if you just remember what you did and you have to write it down. Mm -hmm. It's like, what the fuck? Well, and I think as long as you know where you're supposed to look for the answers, it's yeah. much easier. Than well, being like, hey. Imagine being me and trying to figure that out by myself. And me being like, what the fuck? You can't go into forums and kind of brainstorm with other people. It's bull. <laughs> yeah, and like, yeah, and any materials that they give you aren't going to go over it anyway. That's the heart playing pattern, I'm pretty sure. So I need to show him doing this. What? Oh, they're wow. good. They're. They really like you. Are they? Him. Maybe oh. a little too much. I'd better not leave you here. <laughs> oh. You're kind of weird. I'm not gonna leave you here. <laughs> this is 
a little troublesome. Maybe I'm gonna uh, get out of here before it goes to your head. Hmm. Not to get them to follow me. I can't remember how I did that. Oh wait, oh, here they are. Yeah. Come on. Like, where did you take our god? God, we've been waiting so long. Oh. A rave. Well, that looks right at least. <laughs> He's actually pretty rave. good. I think I'll let him. They're all like, Woo! It's happening! I can't feel my face! <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking lose it! Let's oh, fucking lose it! Bring me my pacifier! <laughs> I hope the engine's not just an old tube. Get out of your mind! That's a, like, that's what their version is. Well, like, we're hearing a harp, but they're hearing, like, little They're, dogs. like, fucking losing it right now. <laughs> there. Now the power's back on. I think. Don't worry, Alex. I'll just take care of all of this for you. Yeah, it's not a big deal. You're only, like, an adult. And grew up to be an adult. I'm a little disappointed with its tone. I'll be honest. Wow. Yeah, that's enough heart music for now. Wow, Alex. So now I need to copy what I saw in uh Bella's Bella's Hexapal. What did hers look like? Let's take a look. I don't think that's what this girl's made for. Down. Okay. That's her flashlight waiting the safety pattern. Okay. That's her flashlight. Okay, thank you. Safety pal. Let's wire this terminal. And this terminal goes... That's all my wire. Alright. Yeah, that's the way you play the drums. But that tiny little hand of yours doesn't make much noise, does it? What are we gonna give you to make more noise? Yeah! <laughs> Oops, nah. wrong one. We did it! Now we're talking. It's hey, a rave, what's going dude. on down here? Yeah. Put those things down and be quiet, please. Hey, you I'm left I'm trying to talk here. to Aruna upstairs and I can't even hear myself. Now put that down. You left them there yeah. to like become this way. It was a total like, they're down here. They made a tribe because at first they were all like, he left us. He, he left, left us. us. And then they were like, you know what? Fuck that guy. We're going to stay down here and we're going to make our own little tribe and we're just going to bark at each other. <laughs> just going to bark at each other. Okay. Now what do I need to do? Completely forgot. Oh, wait. Hold on. Gary? Come in, Gary. It's grabbing time again. You can do it, Gary. What the? Why are we grappling the other ship with our cargo loaders? Who's doing that? Hey, why are these boom arm controls set to manual? Must have been flipped by the incoming fire. What's next? You don't know how to do anything, do you? Ah, oh, shit, I did it. I don't want it. Rats. My mom must have set the boom arms back to centralized control. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, we have to do something. This was the only part that didn't make any fucking sense. Okay? <laughs> I have to go in here... I and I have to count in Volta, but you know once the path is over, the ship follows over. 
Only to the thread. What we have to do is rewire this into the harp um thing. Shit's shields. Shit's shields. There are no shit shields. Throw the fusion orb out the trash chute. Yeah. That's better. It's connecting to this terminal. Excuse me. What protocol calls for the disposal of our There is no protocol for this situation. This one looks good. This is your territory. Yeah, so that we have to do it like there. a harp thing. Uh-huh. And then what we do is we take huh. her. Well, that's evocative. Evocative. And we take her I am only asking and have her tickle his scarf. What? Yeah. Hey! That is extremely sensitive. Space Weaver, report. I'm experiencing severe giggles. What? Severe giggles. What is it? Are you damaged? Stop! Stop it, please! No! Hang on! I'm coming right down. Oh, I see. Good job, little girl. You keep them both occupied for a while, okay? Oh, Bella, watch my controls for a bit, would you? Our navigation bot seems to be malfunctioning. I shouldn't be gone too long. Oh my god, you you're got doing it, something? Mom. You have to actually left that fucking room for a second? to do not what you were doing, which was nothing. It seems like she's like never left. Yeah, cause otherwise her son would see her. That's enough. Now please tell me. So we gotta turn these controls off while she's out of the room. Let's hope this isn't the self-destruct button. What? You're just pressing That's, things? Yeah. That sounds great. <laughs> it sounds like he's crazy. <laughs> Gary? Come in, Gary. It's grabbing time again. Good work, Gary. It's an honor to be grabbed Gary! by such a professional. Are you ready, Stacy? Yep. Are you ready for the ending? Yes. Here we go. Please be more specific. The only thing this trigger is good for is firing Alex's death. Okay, and again. only when we're in rain. Back to the... Are you ready? Room with the window. Does everybody die? Yep, everybody dies. Everybody dies. That's the good ending. I know, I really don't like her. Pretty much everything she says, I'm just like... She's the worst! And by the way, why does that family not be like, Hey, where'd Grandma go? <laughs> the meltdown has started! Everybody, out! The other ship is melting down and it's taking us with it! Yeah, I can do that too. 
Yeah, I can do that too. She can bake <clears throat> and beat ass. Yeah. So. So. Shay! Mom! Jump, son! Come on, Shay, you can do it. It would have worked better if you'd taken a running start, but whatever. Well, he would have gone into the, you know. No, but I'm saying if he had jumped sooner. Oh, we can do it! No! Oh, no! I failed you because I'm a shit mom. Everyone's parents suck, and you failed your children. You deserve this feeling. What did I tell you? Everybody dies. Ship explodes. No one Nope, lives. we're okay. We were saved by the robots again. Thank you, robots. You're the only people we can depend on. Mm -hmm. Gary? We can only depend on Gary. <laughs> Gary gives us a thumbs up. Gary, go. Gary, get out of there. <laughs> No! Not oh! Terminator style! No! He died like in the Terminator 2! Like in Terminator 2 yeah, where you get the, the thumbs, thumbs up, up. he's like... Oh, okay. yeah. And he goes into the lava. I'm gonna imagine that they retell this story, but with Terminator, and that's how Gary... Wait, out. aren't they all on one of the... Oh, no, they were all on the platform, okay. Gary died for our sins. <laughs> <laughs> Now they understand each other, and it's okay. <laughs> they just go up to each other and they're like, "What the fuck?" Uh -huh. Before they were angry at each other, and now they're not because they lived each other's lives and they understand each other and why they were confused. Mind blown. Yay, we're friends now. Okay, when this first ended, I was like, what? That's the fucking ending? But if you actually watch the credits, it's... They they do that, like, whole, like, and this is what happened in via pictures. Oh, like, later? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, god damn it, that's not an ending! Oh, wait, yes it is. Never mind. Oh, okay. Alright, <laughs> well... <laughs> oh! They start a band! <laughs> I Sorry? wasn't really paying attention the first time, because I wanted to, like... See it with you. The hexapals are like. My oh my god! Oh! They make us a spy. <laughs> <laughs> what about knife? What does he do? He's a jerk. Remember? Yeah, but he was kind of. He was like, like, "Hey, what's up? I'm a knife." And she's like, "That's not it's what a happened." Horrible accent. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, son. We're gonna we never smother you and never let you leave again. Fuck you. And fuck can, this family. And can mom fix her hair, by the way? Hey, and can mom and dad, like, I would never speak to my mother and father again. I would hang out with my sister and my grandpa. I'd be like, you wanted to kill me? Grandpa didn't want to kill me. Yeah. Grandpa was the only person. Marikai getting beat up by the ladies. By the chicks. Maybe they start, like, a club together. They're like, they start, like, a support group. They're like, yeah, I was sacrificed by my family. Girl, you're more than that. Oh, the mayor's breaking down the plague dam. Mm-hmm. Grandpa beating on the thrush. Hey! Oh, look at Grandma being like, She's ah! like, a, what is she, like a thrush squid lady or something? She's an infiltrator. I don't think she, I think she was like the elder. They weren't actually their grandma. Oh, so they do have video games. Yeah. I don't understand this. It's like an arcade game. Hmm. I don't get it. What are they, like make it out of sand or something? <laughs> But hey, you know, this is another world, another universe, and so I feel like... You know, things don't need to make sense. Well, and the temptation is always to, like, put our world's rules on, like, the technology that they would have. You know what I mean? It doesn't... You know if what? It was probably Earth. a good reason. Craft fair. Oh! Curtis! Curtis and, and what's-her-face, and, like, everyone's Twyla. like, wow, Twyla. That's a pretty name, I think. I think Twilight. so, too. It's like Twilight, but not. Yeah, way better. <laughs> oh, oh, look the at Yarn the Pals. Yarn Pals, they make their own little world. Inside the ships. Yarn Pals. I like that the Hexapals start a band, though. That's yeah. awesome. Oh, look, they remake, um, what's-his-face? 
the yes, yarn pal got... that got deployed into the nav scarf, <laughs> which is kind of like mean if you think about it. She's like, oh, I'm just going to take you apart and, and knit you into something new. Well, he said he regretted nothing. He died doing what? Oh, look! I regret nothing! Hardcore graphic design. Oh, they're studying together. I'm going to With... headcanon that they like get married and everything. Yeah. Um, they are wearing clothes. That's a little disappointing, but... Yeah, I wanted them to be nudist. They, they started nudist lesbian colony together. Aw. They're gonna be friends. Aw. I like that he still wears his outfit just because... I thought it was a girl. No, it was a boy. Oh, Because they... he says, my son's over there. Oh, okay. Because I thought at one point the woman was like, oh, our sisters are getting along or something like that, but... You know I, what? Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe they're just a ambiguous maybe they're person. Maybe they're genderqueer. Who yeah, knows? Maybe. Look at them playing poker together. Who is best at lying at your children? Let's play poker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's play lying to our children charades. <laughs> oh my god! It's a spaceship that's not really Are you space. seeing this? Are you seeing that? Drumsticks? For the birds? Yeah. That's a little weird. Annual Bridge Crossing Festival! Yay! Woo! Well, they could be smaller birds. Birds eat smaller birds. It's just a little weird, though. That's, you know. I yeah. think that was the joke, though. Here, I made you a shitty sweater, Mom. Wear wow. it. Wear it, Mother. Wear the sweater! Eat the cookie, Mom! Why won't you eat the cookie? Why don't you love the things I make for you, Mom? Remember when Flowers in the Attic, where they go into their mother's wedding, they say, Eat the cookie, Mother. Flowers Why? in the Attic? Yeah. This woman... Is that a children's book? I guess you could say that. I've never heard of it. It's about a woman who, like, locks her children in the attic. And they slowly starve to death. Wow. And they try to kill them. And then they break out because the cookies are poisoned. Probably and not it a kills children's one of, book. And it killed one of their siblings. Our hero. For here's a care hero cake. Yay, they're friends. They're like, yeah, my parents, oh, both our parents are fucking liars. Yep. And pieces of shit. That's why I passive aggressively make them crappy sweaters. <laughs> I actually know and how to force make... them to wear them. I know they're shit, but I just want to see their discomfort at having to wear them because they have to lie to me and tell me that it's beautiful. More lies. More I actually lies. know how to knit. I'm really good at it. I made that bad on purpose. Yep. But in Flowers in the Attic, they break into their mother's wedding and they say, Mother, why won't you eat the cookie, Mother? Mother! Mother! <laughs> <laughs> Wow, look at all those backers. It's a pretty cool game. Yeah, I suppose we didn't really talk about what our thoughts are. Well, we have a whole video that talks yeah, about our thoughts. Yeah, we have a whole video talking about our thoughts. I mean, there's more thoughts, but, you know, I guess we can talk. I, I, I liked it. I liked what the, uh, where the story went. And, you know, I mean, it can apply to other things. It's just basically saying if things change, it doesn't mean that a monster's going to destroy your town. You know? Mm-hmm. Just like how years ago when things were marriage wasn't as important anymore and people thought, oh, the American family's going to die. And now these days when people are like, let's have gay marriage. And they're like, the American family is going to die. And I'm like, nobody, it's going to be fine. It's going to be okay. Yeah. People are still going to have babies. The family units are still going to work. Like, who can, does it, what? <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I mean... Families are more diverse now than ever before in terms of, like, single parents, families living together in, like, different arrangements and, like... And people are like, oh, the divorce rate is so high. You know why the divorce rate is so high? Because it's not because, like, people get along worse. It's because people are less willing to deal with abusive bullshit. Yeah. So when people are not working out, it used to be that they just would never had get divorced. Had to stick it out. And they had to stick it out, even if they were being horribly if it, abused. If, it, if it, they were miserable or like, yeah. My grandmother, the first man he mar she married, beat her so bad, she thought she couldn't have kids anymore. And so she got a divorce, despite what everyone else told her not to do it, despite the fact that she was getting the shit beaten out of her. Which is bullshit. Which is bullshit. She got excommunicated from the Catholic Church. And then a really wonderful man married her, and they had children together. Like, they adopted a child together, and mm -hmm. then it turns out she could have children. 
And it's just like, that it was how bad it had to be in order to get a divorce. And that was how awful it was. And she was still treated poorly by the church for getting a divorce. Even and when with she, all of those reasons. And my dad got a, got a Catholic priest to give her her, like, whatever. And she wouldn't eat the the cr- cracker. <laughs> yeah. And, and the, the thing, because she thought she didn't deserve it. So nowadays, there's a lot less shame on it. So when people are in a relationship that makes them unhappy, they're going to get a divorce. It's not because marriages don't work nowadays. It's because the marriages that don't work stop happening. Well, and marriage is hard. It's hard. You know, and it's not like, it's not like there are no good parts to it. But, like, people, I feel like people sometimes think that you just, like, you get together with your best friend and you, like, marry them and then, like, you just don't have to try. But it's, like, you're living with another person, like, for the rest of your entire life. You have to, They're like, going to be annoying. And you have to constantly work on yourself to make yourself a better person and to, like, be better together. You know what I mean? And people change over the course of their lives. You don't stay this as in, like, a single state forever. The goal in your life is not that you, like, get worse as a person or that you stay the same. It's that you get better. It's that you work on your faults and that you... And you make sure that you're not treating the other person badly. Yeah. And, you know... Sometimes you forget and you're like, just whatever. And then you're like, oh, wait, I haven't, like, said something nice or done something nice for them in a while. I should probably do that just so that they know that I appreciate them. Yeah. Blah, and it blah, doesn't blah, just blah. apply to marriage either. It applies to friendships. Friendships you know, or long-term relationships or anything. Yeah. Because people can feel, you know, sometimes when you're around somebody all the time and you really appreciate and value their friendship or your marriage or whatever, like people forget to remind that person of how much they appreciate them and they can feel taken advantage of. Or like in Battlestar Galactica where Saul was like, why do I need to say it when I feel it? And I'm like, because she doesn't know that you're feeling it unless you tell them. I know, like, what the fuck? I hate it when people say they're like, (laughs) why do I need to say it when I feel it? I'm like, they don't know what you're feeling. That's the problem. People can't read your mind. They can't read your mind and you're not acting like it and you're not saying it. You have to show them because nobody can, like, yeah, like, okay, I genuinely feel this way. Well, like, well, if you genuinely felt that way, that would drive you to do actions to let them know. Yeah. So that's the important thing. You gotta make sure that, like... You're telling the people in your life that you love them. Otherwise, and they And not don't just know. assuming that they know and are reading your mind. Yeah. And you have to show people. It's more than just saying, like, I love you. You have to... Your actions sometimes have it's to... doing the dishes without complaining about it. Yeah. Or sometimes it's just doing like, oh, oh, I see like something's wrong. I'll fix it for them so they don't have to deal with it later. Or like knowing that your husband or boyfriend had like a really hard day and so like they come home and you're like, you know what? I'll make dinner and I'm going to make whatever you want because like I know that you're going through a tough time right now. And so make sure they do, do that for, for you too. Make sure they do that for you, too. And yeah. don't be passive-aggressive and be mad that they didn't do it. Just tell them. Yeah. Just be like, hey, I feel like I haven't been getting enough attention, and this is what I want. Because I know it's less romantic to tell them what you want, but on the other hand, it's never going to fucking happen if you don't tell them. Yeah. I mean, it's okay to, like, stick up for, like, what you think you need in a relationship instead yeah. of just, like, expecting this person to, like, know what you're thinking all the time. Yeah, it's like, it is it is less romantic, but at the same time, at least you're going to get it, you know? Yeah. You're like, hey, you know what I need? I need you to take me to the movies, or I need you to mop the floor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, either one of those. Or I need you to cuddle right now. I want to cuddle right I now. I need hugs. Yeah. Oh, can you hug me now? I want to be hugged. Okay, hug time is over. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm going back to the internet. <laughs> <laughs> So it's not, you know, if things change, it's not, nothing, none of this is symptoms of the same shit. It's like different stuff, so. Yeah. It's not, yeah, if pe- gay people get married, the world's not going to end. If women want to get married, that's fine too. If everybody wants to get married, if nobody wants to get married, I'm pretty sure babies are still going to happen and people are going to take care of the kids. Babies will always <laughs> still happen. No yeah, matter what, okay? There's a baby. There's gonna... If sex happens, 
Yeah. There will be babies. Um, and, like, most people want to take care of their kids, so... Most people. I'm still... Okay, what else do you want to say about this game? Um... I don't know. I really liked... I really liked this game. I personally don't usually play games that are this in-depth on puzzle solving because it's not really my style. Like, if I can't figure it out from, like, wandering around for a half an hour and, like, touching all the things, like, I get frustrated, you know? I think it depends on how much uh, emotional energy somebody has at the time. Because if you come home from work and you want to play a game, that's what you want to do. But if you come from home from work and the type of relaxation you get is from solving a puzzle, like, that could be too, it too. Yeah. But, like, you know, games used to be like this all the time just to add more, like, depth. But I feel like these puzzles make a lot more sense than the old school point and click puzzles mm -hmm. because I remember some point and click puzzles were in such a way that it would never make sense ever. Yeah. And for these at least they made sense. Mm -hmm. You just had to like have that moment of realization for it to work. Yeah. Why are there so many Kickstarter people? We still have to talk during this. Yeah. This is taking forever. We love you guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah, so we'll just, uh... Blah, blah. Tommy Sundstrom. We're in the T's now, so we're getting close. Um, oh, we're in the U's and V's. We're almost there. We're, we're doing it. We're doing it now. And I know some people are like, why do you guys show the credits? It takes so long. I'm just like, yeah. You don't have to watch it, though. You don't have That's to watch the, the credits. Like... And second, you know how fucking rude it is to do a Let's Play of a, of a game and then be like, no credits? <laughs> like, all those people that put work into the game or, like, spent money backing the game. Like, I know I cut it out for Mass Effect 3, but you all know why I fucking did that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The one time I did it. All right, it's over! Yay! Yay! Good night!